Hey, I'm Dan Fitzpatrick, stockmarketmentor.com. Um, just a real quick uh, video today. Uh, I'm actually prepping for a three-day course that I'll be teaching in the next um, in the next few months. Not exactly sure when it's going to be. Um, still working on it. But anyway, uh, I wanted to get this out to you. Rivian. Okay, this was a genius maker. Um, last week. It was uh, even up into this week. What did it peak here on Tuesday? Um, monster move. If you, you own Rivian, you're a trading genius. Okay, the last couple days, not so much. Um, you're down 30% in a couple days. But here's a way that you can protect um, that stuff. A couple is just an entry that I took late, um, but I got out pretty gracefully, you know, just before the building collapsed. Um, so the thing is, you're watching this stock on the way up. Low, intraday low here, higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low. And so this gives you a pretty good pattern, which means that um, with each passing day, what you can do is, you know, you can set, you can set a stop like, on this first day, we don't really do much there, but on this first day you go, okay, man, I'm buying the stock tomorrow or whatever, but if this thing falls below today's intraday low, I'm out. Then the next day, okay, it's up. If Now if it falls below this day's intraday low, I'm out. And then here, if it falls below this day's intraday low, I'm out. If it falls below this day's intraday low, I'm out. Okay, good Lord, we got nosebleed here, but I'm sticking with it because this is a stock that's going to 200 just because it's EV and people are, you know, they're not redneck crazy, they're EV crazy. Um, and so, but a lot of them are redneck crazy too. But anyway, so now I'm looking at this saying, all right, man, I'm in this stock. Maybe I even bought it. But if this bad boy falls below 153.78, which is the low, I'm out of here. So you sell at 153.78, and that's from the prior days open. So you've given back, or you've, it's, let's say you bought right at the close or something. Um, you've given back 10%. If you bought down here, you've given back, uh, you know, a, a fairly decent amount of your gains, but it's still been a monster trade. However, if you said, no, I believe in Rivian. I think this is going to be the next Tesla. I've never liked Musk anyway. I think he's weird, but I think Rivian, ooh, yeah, this is going to be the next Tesla. I'll stay long. Even though you're typically a swing trader that doesn't hold things for more than a couple weeks, uh, magically you have a belief that Rivian is going to dominate the automotive, uh, the EV market. I don't know, just because. Maybe they have a nice website. They do. Um, so you decide to stay long. You have no idea that this is massively overvalued. And yes, it may be a $1,000 stock where it would be more massively overvalued. But here's the thing. If something is absolutely ridiculously overvalued, what's the difference between ridiculously overvalued and super duper ridiculously overvalued? I mean, there's really no difference. So what you're trading here is the chart. Well, here's a simple way for you to also look at this. This is the volume weighted average price. On the way up, this stock was always trading at or above that. And then um, back here on the 17th, that's just yesterday, the stock fell below and keeps falling and keeps falling and keeps falling. And so this is a stock that you could have gotten out of gracefully but instead, you're holding it, and now you're hoping for a miracle. Uh, in the future, don't do that. Use these, in the, use these lower intraday lows on ramping stocks as references for when the party's over. You won't catch the top, but you won't ride this thing any further down than you need to. So, okay, um, that's it. I'll see you all next time.